welcome back to my channel. It is Julia. If you guys are new here, what's up? My name is Julia. I post makeup, fashion, and lifestyle videos, and I really hope you guys stick around. And if you guys are not new here, what's up? Welcome back, my beautiful raindrops. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a video that I'm so excited about because I literally feel like I never... I do love my drugstore products, but I feel like I never sit there and really talk about my favorites and products that are really, really worth, you know, the money. You don't have to get everything from high end. You can get drugstore products and these are ones that are my holy grails. These are ones I usually use in my regular day. These are just the products I love. So if you guys want to see what those products are, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so the first product that I basically have is the Makeup Revolution Highlighters. If you guys have been a long time subscriber, you would know that basically in all my videos I use Makeup Revolution Highlighter. It's amazing. It's the best one. It's what I'm wearing on my face today. Literally, I could not say enough good things about it. I tell everyone in my life about it. I tell everyone that Makeup Revolution is an amazing drugstore brand, and it seriously is, but their highlighters are amazing. So this one is in Peach Kiss. The other one is Golden Kiss. My favorite is this one. As you can see, I use this one more than this one, but this is the one on my face. I love both of them. They're so good and like the best highlighters. Honestly, they're very comparable to high-end ones. And even this one right here is comparable to the Amrezy highlight from Anastasia. So my next holy grail from the drugstore is this one right here. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is an amazing concealer. Seriously, very comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape. If you guys don't want to spend that kind of money on it, definitely get this one. I believe this one's about like $7 from Ulta. So I don't know where else you can get Makeup Revolution, but I personally get mine from Ulta. You can order online for them. But like I said, I love this concealer. I'm wearing it today. So I'm wearing a lot of drugstore products today to show you guys. So this is in literally no order. That's why I'm going all over the place. But the next essential from the drugstore is this primer. A lot of people are on the fence about primer. Um, they don't either think it's real or they don't want to spend a lot of money because, you know, you're applying it every day. Um, so if you don't want to spend a lot of money on primer, I totally understand. This one is really amazing and actually works. I actually noted, noticed a difference when I use this one. So it is the real deal and it's not expensive at all. Like I said, this is the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio Primer. It's a hydrating and smoothing primer. It's in the blue packaging and this is a really good primer. It makes any pores that I would have go away and it hydrates my skin because I've been sick if you guys can't tell I still sound sick so my face has been a little drier being sick and especially because it is the winter time so I do get a little drier than I usually am this is just an amazing product and actually works um, I've tried the green one as well which is red canceling and I feel like it really does work as well so I would definitely highly recommend trying out this Maybelline line. Okay, so next up is this foundation. This is the Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Foundation. This baby literally is like concrete on your face. Um, I would say that it is a little bit more heavier feeling than a BB cream or a typical foundation. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it is a little heavier than a typical foundation, but if you're looking for long lasting and matte and all that good stuff, this is seriously what you need. It is from the drugstore, okay? is really amazing and it stays on your face for a long period of time i just haven't been using it because if you can't tell it's a self tan shade and i haven't self tanned in a very hot minute so it wouldn't match me it would look insane on me if i wore it but i do have to get a different shade of it now to set your face i know we all need to set our face we're all into baking we're all into looking matte and just gorgeous and making sure our makeup is setting staying in place all day so this is the best powder i have found i've tried the maybelline one and i do use that but i just don't love it i feel like it makes my under eyes look cakey and just not good and dry so the best powder i have tried is the coney airspun loose face powder this is the best stuff as for setting and baking that I've tried. I do know that some people said that they have flashback. I personally, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't make me mad at it. Um, you get this huge powder for, I believe it's like $8, 8 or $9. So it's lasting you forever. It's inexpensive. It makes your under eyes look like smooth, 
beautiful porcelain skin like all we want right I personally don't take pictures with flash so it doesn't bother me I like this powder a lot and I would highly recommend it it is one of my must-haves from the drugstore and it's the powder that I keep on using keep coming back to it's just the best next up is bronzer this is the bronzer that I used today and it is the Milani baked bronzer in the shade Dolce this is an amazing bronzer for light skin dark skin I don't know how it does it but it just looks beautiful on any skin I, I just don't know how it does it you would think that something that looks like a bronzer on my skin would look you know good but then on someone who's a little darker it wouldn't look good because of the shade but no when I'm tan I use this and it still bronzes me up it still looks beautiful and it's a really nice shade like honestly this shade is really bomb and it has some shimmer in it not going to lie to you but it just makes my skin look dewy and alive and like not caked up and makeup filled a beautiful bronzer I don't know I love it moving on another Milani product because Milani is really a good drugstore brand um, this is the Milani baked blush in luminoso it's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today um, this is another just like holy girl that I always repurchase um, it's just a great blush that is good for every day I feel like it's good for every skin tone you can go light-handed you can go heavy-handed it just looks so beautiful and like natural and glowy and I feel like this is just the best blush to wear on like an everyday basis it really is just like a beautiful enhancement to your skin it just makes you look dewy and alive like I said it's just it's beautiful and I love it so much you guys so the next product I feel like I'm so excited to talk about because I get a lot of questions about my lashes a lot and I do wear high-end lashes I do wear um, dodo lashes which I do have a code which I'll link down below um, but I do use dodo lashes I do use um, Lily lashes I do use other lashes but for some reason these particular lashes that are on my eyes right now I just feel like complement my eyes the best they're the like the most lightweight on my eyes they're the easiest to apply they're just the best lashes in my opinion and obviously to each their own if you like something different on your eyes obviously you may not like them but I'm telling you I've put so many people on them so many people in my life love them and they are the Ardell studio effects wispies and this is okay kind of looks kind of gross these are what they look like on my eyes but this is what they look like they have glue kind of on them and they're kind of dirty they need to be cleaned but this is what the lashes look like so comfortable in the eyes they have a thin band they go on really really easily they're good for beginners um, and they're very inexpensive they're not $30 you can still use them about 20 times you can use them as much as you take care of them so I do have a how to clean eyelash video if you guys want to check that out you guys can scroll down check it out and I do show you guys how to clean lashes so you can get a lot of use out of these and I believe I paid seven dollars for them so it's really just a great deal and i love them so much for lips i really do love high-end lippies so this is a hard one for me to be honest um i really haven't tried any new lippies from the drugstore that are so amazing that blow my mind um that i couldn't live without these are really good and i would say that if i only had to wear a drugstore i wouldn't be able to live without these this is the nyx lip lingerie liquid lipsticks they're amazing i love them personally i know some people have issues with them but i personally do not i think they're really good they're really reasonably priced they last on your lips um they're just good they are a little drying which i think is where people have issues with them but make sure you exfoliate your lips make sure you're putting on chapstick put on a lip liner before and then put the liquid lipstick on and i feel like it will go on smoother and just be a little bit nicer so these are amazing i love them and yes Alrighty guys, so that is it for today's video. Those are the makeup products that I literally could not live without from the drugstore. Those are my favorites. They're ones I use basically every day. And if you guys like this video, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what some of your favorites are from the drugstore. Also, I currently have a giveaway going on. So if you guys want to win or participate in that giveaway, click down below and check the pinned comment as to how to win. And go check out my James Charles Times Morphe palette tutorial, more in-depth directions and all that. If you guys want to see my high-end favorites, please let me know down below and I will film that for you guys. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I will see you guys in my next one.